There you go. There's a short takeoff. Nice. Get those flaps killed. That's awesome. Power out of it, and then I'll try to. That get was it crazy. I want to see that again. Okay, I'll do it again. <laughs> <laughs> Look how slow we're going there. Nice, 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 nice. I'll take that, and you ready? Mm -hmm. No, I almost hit the grass. Yeah. That was so good. Yeah. <laughs> what was that like a foot? That was crazy. <laughs> we have extremely exciting news to announce. The Turbo Timber Evolution. If you're a fan of the Turbo Timber, you are gonna love this. And if you're not a fan of any of the Turbo Timbers, I think you will be after this video. There are some huge improvements made on this airplane. We're gonna talk about those, then we're gonna maiden this plane together with you guys. I'm really excited because the improvements that are on this are the things that we've been wanting for years. So number one, get ready to have your mind blown. The turbo timber, right? Oh, let's put the battery, no, no, we're not gonna turn the plane over to put the battery in. The battery goes in on the top like it's supposed to, finally. We don't have to, this is what you used to have to do to put the battery in. Hey Abby, will you hold the plane for me? Or let me just try to balance it on my knee here and put the battery in, no more. <laughs> so that's really exciting. I also love the throwback because if you guys remember the original timber that had the you know the tree line the color the paint scheme was red black and white so i really personally love that the tt evolution is this color scheme tt evo tt evo i like that <laughs> uh, i like this color scheme because that's the only timber that i never owned was the original timber and i kind of feel like i own it now uh, with this color scheme so that's really cool they've also made the landing gear more robust so it's going to be more forgiving for stall landings especially and this now is equipped fully with smart technology right out of the box so you just bind it up and you have telemetry back to your radio cell voltages overall voltages heat all of the good stuff comes right back to your radio love that and there's way more room now in the battery tray compartment so you don't have to just wedge in a 2200 milliamp battery and hope that it fits this will fly on a 3s or 4s anywhere from like an 1800 milliamp i recommend 2200 all the way up to a uh, four or maybe even a 5000 milliamp battery uh, you can fly probably most people are going to want to fly on 4s 3200 I love the increased space for your batteries. I mean, that is that is huge. We all know that. We hate wedging our batteries in and getting those wires just to finesse perfectly so you can close the hatch. No more worry. So they really listened to what people want out of the turbo timber or just the timber in general, any of those timbers, and they made the improvements. So I'm, I'm expecting this to fly just as good. Hey, those of you with the keen eye, you'll notice these little white dots uh, that actually, it comes with some red stickers you can put over those white dots. I opted out of those because what I will do is install the included wing slats. I just wanted to get a flight or two in without the wing slats because you can always add those later. So I just want to get a feel for how it flies without it. So those little white dots are a little bit ugly right now, uh, but you can cover those up. Again, I'm going to put the wing slats on. This is massive, massive, massive too, guys. I took advantage of this on the drive over because this doesn't fit in our truck as well as it would our SUV. Uh, you can take the wing on and off super easy with this new plugs that are on here. And there's a nice little receiving port there for them. So the wing comes off and you literally just plug that in. Do the same with the other one. No more messing around with a ton of little wires. Tuck the wire in, put your wing on. Two nylon screws go on to hold the wing in place. Super awesome. And then here's a really cool thing. It comes with floats. So we will probably eventually fly this off of water too because the floats come with this plane. I love that you have the options with that. Oh, one more thing. This is capable of ESC reversing, which means while it's on the ground, and this is important for floats, you can reverse the prop with the throw of a switch on your radio, push the plane backwards. You can taxi it backwards on the ground, and that's nice on asphalt, fun little trick, but when you're pushing this plane around on the water, that's a huge deal. So that's a nice little added bonus too. Enough talking, let's fly. All right, you guys let me know in the comments below who wants to see a video of taking a bind and fly airplane, E-Flight, 
with one of the Spectrum radios and how I do the electronics, right? Binding it up from the very first time out of the box, setting up safe on a switch, because right now I've got safe on my back right switch, which is, I think, the smartest place to put it. It's the most quick, easy place to get to. Your thumb's always on the right stick, so bam, safe's, safe's right there. That's what I like. If you want to see me do a video, let me know in the comments. If it gets an overwhelming amount of love uh, and requests, then I'll do it. Just You just got to let me know. Okay, so safe is on, and I'm excited. Also, this plane has lights on it. I kind of like those white dots on there. That makes I, it look like a crop dust. You said you wanted to get rid of them. I liked them, too. Let's take <laughs> off. And uh, you know what? Short takeoff. Ugh, not too short. I guess safe is kind of keeping me from taking off too fast. I have a lot of up elevator in this right now. So uh, in other words, I'm pulling back on the elevator pretty hard right now. I'm gonna trim that up and see if that helps. Just full trim. And I'm going safe off because that just feels too, uh, I, was fighting it. I was fighting it. So I'm gonna have to probably make a physical adjustment on the elevator. Something with safe was kind of keeping me um, pushing down a little bit on that. So I just turned safe off. We'll just fly it like this. Feels really good now. That is <laughs> awesome. Here we go. Nice roll. That feels good. Let's get into this. Nice wide, big loop. Ah, we'll just turn it into a Cuban 8 here. Here we go. Into a loop. What is that? A Cuban 8 into a loop. Kind of cool. Not a bad maiden, guys. This is feeling pretty awesome. I like the red and white. The red pops in that blue sky really well. Very cool. Bright headlight. I can even see that in the day. Knife edging. The timber is good at knife edging. Let's see that. Yeah, look at that. Right into it. I just feel super comfortable and confident with this airplane. To me, the turbo timber has got to be one of the best, I would say, casual slash sporty flyers slash trainer planes. And it just is very well rounded. You can take this plane and fly it just about anywhere. And, you know, although it doesn't have tons of crazy, crazy control surface authority, like even, even compared to um, the Valiant, I feel like the Valiant snaps a little better than this and the roll rate is higher by default on the Valiant. This is still a very sporty, fun plane to fly, if you cannot tell by the way I'm maidening this airplane. I'm surprised. It <laughs> feels really good, Abby. Like I thought this. you'd be in safe a lot more than oh, what you man, were. Look at that. Look or, at that inverted flight. Were you even in safe at all? Uh, yeah, on takeoff, on takeoff but I told okay. you like it felt funky. It felt like I was kind of fighting it to keep it in the air. The only thing I wish was different about today is that I remembered my sunglasses. <laughs> I didn't move, so I'm squinting the whole time. So yeah, I'm squinting on a Maiden. I'm flying inverted more than I do on anything ever. Uh, knife edging, rolling, looping. Now let's do an outside loop from that inverted flight. Yeah, this feels really good. I swear this is a Maiden. Uh, but I have all of he the... He just built this this morning, and he was like, we got to beat the thunderstorm. A, there is supposed <laughs> to be a thunderstorm rolling in, and clearly it doesn't look like that, but according to the weather, we were supposed to have a storm today. Little and just so channel. you guys know, there's a... Uh, uh, this is releasing... We're recording this the day before, so when this releases tomorrow morning, I need to have the video done by then, so I had to fly today. And I built it, snapped it together in probably 20, 25 minutes. You were fast. And uh, got it done faster than the batteries charged. Charged a couple batteries, ran out here, put safe select on a switch, and uh, here we go. I mean, this happened so fast. I hustled like crazy to get this content out to you guys. So if you appreciate it, give us a like, please. And also, this plane is linked in the description box below, so if you have to have it, and you, you should have a turbo timber of, of one kind, then click our link and buy it that way. The beautiful thing about that is when you click that link that's in our description box, it gives us a little bit of credit. It's a great way to say thank you for the content that we put out, the family friendly content, which I think is awesome. And it doesn't cost you an extra penny. So it's like, we'll scratch your back. If you scratch ours a little bit, we'll give you some free videos to watch. And, and maybe if you plan on buying something, just use the link. It, it doesn't cost you anything extra at all. So uh, we are very grateful if you do. Was that, what was that, your five minute? Uh, five minute click or maybe four minutes. Um, yeah, let's see. That was four minutes. And 
this plane has telemetry, so I'm going to go off of that. And actually, guys, I am flying on a 3200 milliamp battery right now, so we, we will get a longer flight time, which is the other thing that people wanted out of the turbo timber or any of the timbers. We all just want, everybody wants a longer flight time with this bigger battery compartment. I'm just flying on a thousand milliamps more, right? The 3200, which is the recommended battery but you can fly on a 4,000 or even a 5,000 milliamp battery and get super long flight times on this airplane. That's just my five minute timer now hitting. So I'm gonna go more on telemetry or if I don't hit the low voltage alarm, what I'll do is let you guys know what my cell voltage is on at the What's end of this that flight. Beat? That's five minutes counting down. Oh, okay. Yeah. It's a bit more um, annoying when you hit the voltage alarm. It's like, um, <laughs> just the last thing you made in you know the jet i know the, i pushed the, the battery timer too low. Stuff, so. i know although this landing should go much better if that would were uh, to happen yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know what it did good it did do good uh -huh. so i feel really comfortable with this <laughs> i airplane. can tell yeah. and i'm squinting i have one eye open this entire flight and it is barely open so how does it fly compared to other timbers like just the same same good or really, really even good. better um feels just really good it feels just like the turbo timber i'm excited to fly I, this one yeah you should fly it I, it's <clears> supposed <throat> to have the best smart ever good like right well it's it is like one it's of the as best good as it gets. yeah yeah uh, it's just as smart as all the other stuff We're i like telemetry. smart i like smart stuff yes <laughs> oh i wish i could see i wish i brought my sunglasses that's the only complaint i have this feels really good, guys. I love my Timber X. I really love my Night Timber X, if you've gotta have a favorite. And then one of my everyday flyers, given the choice that I have just some free time to fly for fun, when I do, uh, the Turbo Timber, just standard, is one of my favorites. But now with the telemetry and the bigger battery compartment and the better battery compartment where it's actually mounted on top of the airplane, I have, I probably am not gonna fly my regular uh, timber uh, turbo timber unless I unless I crash this one today because that wind is picking up now. Let's let's roll out of that. Whoa. Yeah, that wind. Whoa. Look at that. Oh, that's the wind. <laughs> that's so crazy. I'm glad I rolled it over when I did. <laughs> that gust just picked up. That's what's blowing in the storm. Wow. <clears throat> that's fast. Yeah, it's a 4S or 3S capable. We're flying on 4S. And you know, you could fly on 3S if you wanted to treat this like a trainer. And guys, you can fly this thing as scale as you want to. You do not have to fly it inverted and knife edging and looping and rolling. Um, so if you wanted to just leave safe on and fly this like a trainer, it would make a wonderful trainer. You know what? I think I'm gonna land it. Okay. Just because we've had this in the air for Oops. a long time for a maiden. I feel like I'm pushing it, but we'll see. Let's put the nose into the wind, which is this. We have flaps too. Let's do a couple short takeoffs. So there we go. Well, I was waiting on that. <laughs> there we go. So there's a nice quick takeoff and landing. Oh, oh the wind. That, that, oh. The good old cross breeze up here. Here's, <laughs> here's half flaps, okay? Wait. Let's just go full okay. flaps on. Safe's off, full flaps on. Okay. We're up to seven and a half minute flight time. That's the wind pushing you back. <laughs> Not <safety>. reverse. <laughs> there you go. There's a short takeoff. Nice. Get those flaps killed. That's awesome. Power out of it, and then I'll try to. That do was crazy. Thing. I want to see that again. Okay, I'll do it again. <laughs> that was like the that shortest like, I've ever seen. That was like a hairier takeoff. I think. And then I took the flaps off and blasted the throttle. I think the wind was in your favor on that too. Oh, big time. Yeah. So here's oh flaps. I need to mix in some elevator if I really want that to look smooth. So here's full flaps on you guys. Nose into the wind. <laughs> this is what everybody likes to do with the timber of any kind. Turbo timber. Timber. Look how slow we're going there. Nice, 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 nice. I'll take that and you ready? Mm -hmm. No, I almost hit the grass. Yeah. That was so good. Yeah. <laughs> what was that, like a foot? That was crazy. <laughs> okay. That was fun. Oh man. TT Evo, baby. Right? Yeah. Turbo Timber Evolution. Yeah, you're getting the name. <laughs> okay, let's bring it in for a nice smooth landing. I want it like, to look like butter, Nathan. Like butter? Well, then we better go half flaps. Make it look like butter. Okay, half flaps. Got to come in at an angle because of the wind. Not come perfect. On. And butter can be lumpy too sometimes, right? <laughs> oh, well, oh, little oh. one, one, one little hard lump in our unmelted, unmelted butter. <laughs> you chunked the butter. Yeah. 
3.8, 3.8, 3.79, 3.82. That's what I'm getting the reading on my telemetry, my live reading for my cell voltage, and that is beyond perfect, right? 3.8 volts per cell is where you have a storage uh, setting on a battery, and this will slowly go up to probably 3.8 and a half, maybe 3.9 volts uh, when it's sat for a while, not plugged in. So that's good. We probably could have flown for two or three more minutes. Oh, here's the beauty of this airplane. <laughs> Here's the beauty of this airplane. You're so happy about that. Woo! <laughs> I don't have to hold it upside down to put my battery oh, in. Oh, I hated now. that too. This is just the turbo timber evolved. That's why they named it the evolution. It's really cool. So a better, more robust landing gear system. The battery hatch is the big one. I like the new paint scheme personally quite a lot. Uh, the reversing ESC doesn't come set up out of the box like the Draco, like the Draco d did, um, but this is easy enough to set up in forward programming. I have heard that the guys behind uh, this airplane are coming up with maybe a nice video for everybody, uh, at least instructions online to set up the reversing ESC. And these are currently on pre-order. If you're watching this video when we release the video, it's on pre-order. It'll probably be on pre-order for two or three weeks. That gives you guys a chance to put your name on the list. I'm telling you right now, when something is good, if you don't pre-order it, when it's on pre-order, you may end up waiting for a long time. So those of you that want to buy things when they're in stock, I, that might be a thing of the past. This stuff is so good. The hobby is growing so fast that it's a good thing, it really is. It's just a new way of doing it. So if you like an airplane, put your name on the list, or truck, or car, batteries, anything. You have to basically get your name on the list, and when they come in stock, they'll ship it to you. I know it sucks, I know it sucks. It's well, better. plus they have the easy pay a lot of times. And that helps too. Yeah. Yeah, and good news, if you guys didn't know this, anyone watching in Canada, Horizon ships directly to your house now in Canada. That's amazing. That's massive. That's an entire new country to enjoy this stuff. So Americans, uh, now we got to compete with Canadians to get our stuff. And Horizon has, let's face it, issues keeping stuff in stock, but they do a good job at getting your name on the list and then getting it to you. Just because we're the RC sailors, and yeah, we got this early, that doesn't mean that we aren't there with you. When Abby ordered her little axial 24th scale crawler, we waited like two months to get one. Mm -hmm. And it doesn't matter that we're the RC sailors, sometimes we have to wait for stuff too. So you slap your name on the list and you go. I just, if you want it. Now, this is a plane that would be a great trainer plane. It really would, and I know a lot of people can vouch for that. There might be slightly better ones. I say the Aeroscout's a better plane to train on than this, but I would strongly say a person could train on this airplane. It's just awesome. So to the new pilots out there, maybe, maybe you're looking for a second or third airplane, and even if you've got 100 airplanes, you really need to have AMA, the Academy of Model Aeronautics, insurance, okay? It's gonna just be a nice ease of mind thing for you to have. If you're out flying RC planes, whether you're at a location like ours, a park, a private property, wherever you are, you need to have the Academy of Model Aeronautics. And it's not just insurance. They have a lot of awesome benefits too. Um, and I wanna do a quick little shout out because they're in kind of like a collaboration right now with a new website called rcpilot.com. That, we have a it's referral. It's a social media site. It is a social media site. It's basically Facebook for airplane pilots, okay? And so AMA has worked with them. They're in collaboration with them. Uh, and I've we've made an account, okay? It's really nice and uh, I like it so far. We've made a few posts. It's nice because I use Facebook and stuff basically for RC planes. I don't give a crap about anything else anyone else is posting. I like baby pictures like everybody else, but Abby's got that covered. I really don't need to be on there to look at everyone's baby pictures. I, I use Facebook for helicopters, airplanes, drones and stuff. Your and RC news. Our RC news, yeah. that's right. So that's kind of where this RC pilot comes in handy. It's social media specifically for RC aviation, which is crazy. And we have a referral link in our description box. I make no money at all from that referral link in any way, shape or form, but it does help our rank grow there. So if you want to help us get to uh, Yeah, this uh, is general, not a sponsor. This not is sponsored just, at all. I just like it. Just I just like, like it. it. It's, it's, uh, it has pro it's uh, promising, okay? And so if you guys please, if you do make an account there, use our referral link 
and just help us grow rank. We'd like to be like a general or something, you know? You start off like <laughs> private first class airman or something, and uh, I'd like to be general rank or lieutenant. Ah, that'd be cool. I wanna get my stripes. So sign up, it's free, it's fun, I, I like it, play around with it. Uh, that's there, so AMA, check out rcpilot.com. We gotta stay together as a community, right? Just work together as a community. I kinda wish I thought of that, RC Pilot. It's a good idea. It's like social media just for us. And so there's enough of us to support that. They just need to know, people need to know about it. Uh, this airplane is awesome. It's, uh, they hit the nail on the head. I love when a company puts a product out, great product, but it might need a few improvements or could just maybe benefit from a few improvements. Horizon Hobby, E-Flight, they listened. They put the battery hatch on top, finally. And uh, a few other improvements too that maybe we weren't saying we needed, but like the smart technology, it's awesome. And, and so here you have the Turbo Timber Revolution for a beautiful maiden holding off those thunderstorms because they are supposed to be here. I wanna thank the big guy upstairs. What a beautiful hobby and a beautiful day to fly this plane on, despite the wind. This handled the wind just fine, by the way. And I thank the big guy for that. Also, a massive thanks to our Patreon supporters. You guys rock. You're the backbone behind our channel. You know it. We wanna say thanks because you deserve the thanks. And we really appreciate you from the bottom of our hearts. If you're in love with the Turbo Timber Evolution and you just love Turbo Timbers in general, we'll have our Night Timber X video, which didn't get enough love, popping up right about now. Thanks for watching. We'll see you there. Bye.